back. Happy Saturday. So, I'm not really sure why I'm doing this video. Um, yeah, I really don't know. But, uh, what had happened was someone, okay, my sister, gave me a whole bunch of Mary Kay products. And I was too nice to tell her that I don't use Mary Kay products. Um, because, okay, let's be honest, when I think Mary Kay, I think old, and yes, I am 42, but I don't know, like, I feel a lot younger, maybe probably because when I look in the mirror, I don't see 42, so I feel a lot younger, so anytime I think of, um, makeup, I like things that are, like, happy looking, and, but Mary Kay looks, to me, really old and very sophisticated, and I am not sophisticated I am a child um but she gave me a whole bunch of Mary Kay products and I was too nice to say that I don't use Mary Kay um and so I kept them and I do that with stuff like if people give me things um just like the way that I was raised like you don't refuse a gift and you also don't re-gift a gift that I am appalled by that whole regifting tradition. I just think it's really rude. So people will give me things and I won't say I don't like it and they will never know that I but don't like it. One, the one thing that I was really, really happy to get from her um, was this sunscreen. She had given me, this sunscreen was in the stuff that she gave me. So I decided to go ahead and use it because I am a sunscreen fiend. Um, and I actually really like it. Um, I'm wearing it right now, actually. Um, it kind of sort of doubles as a day cream depending on what you need out of your sunscreen. But I use this along with my other day cream. Uh, and they work really well together. I find like it's not really greasy or anything and like that. Because I like this, I decided to go ahead and try a bunch of the other stuff. And I got also, she gave me an oil-free makeup remover. And this is okay. Um, I generally speaking don't like makeup removers like this because I feel like they f leave a film on my skin that I don't really care for. Um, it, the the biface thing is not my fave. And also, I have my Clinique that I like. So, um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. I also got a mascara. And this is okay. Um, I feel like people who don't have lashes will really like this because it makes your lash lashes kind of show up. I have pretty long lashes. My problem is that they curl upwards so you can't really see them. So when I go for a mascara, I don't really go for length. I go more for um, volume because if I go for length, it's just going to touch my eyelid and that's not a but good look. The thing that she gave me was she gave me a CC cream and she also gave me some translucent powder and I, like I said, I like this other stuff enough that I figured let me just try the CC cream and the translucent powder and because I was going to do it I figured why not just film it, those of you who are curious about Mary Kay, because I'm pretty curious now because I like the, thing, the other things that I tried, so I'm pretty curious now, um, so I figured I'd just come on camera and do it for you, so, 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 if... You would like to see that, just hang out, because that's going to be coming right up. And as usual, friends, while you're hanging out, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below what you think of Mary Kay. Like, what do you think of when you hear Mary Kay? Do you Are you like me? Do you think old and dated, or do you think the products are good or whatever? Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below, and everything is going to be coming like up I right said, now. She gave me a translucent powder. It looks like this. It is... Um, it comes in like a regular plastic uh, container. It is unfortunately the kind of translucent powder that I don't care for. It is that white translucent powder that can often leave um, flashback on dark skin. <sighs> but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, it can also make darker skin look very ashy as well. But I'm going to try it. Um, she also gave me CC creams. Uh, she gave me four of these, I believe. She gave me the shade Medium medium deep deep and very deep so very deep was too dark for me I already pumped it on my arm and tried it so that one is too dark for me and deep what seemed to be just just the right shade maybe and then um, medium deep was a slightly too light so I gave that to my friend Cassie and she was actually really excited to get it um, so maybe I'm wrong about Mary Kay and, and Cassie's younger than I am so she was really excited so maybe I'm wrong and this will turn out well shade looks like um, 
Um, I'm actually going to go in with a damp beauty blender because that's what I've been using lately for just about everything and I really don't feel like using a brush. Okay, alright. My brushes are dirty, so I have no choice. The only thing that I have clean is a beauty blender. So I'm just going to go in um, and put this on all over my face. Now I have done, I wasn't expecting this to have a whole lot of coverage, so I did do some color correcting around my mouth. And I've already put under eye concealer on, skin tone colored under eye concealer, because once again I don't expect it to have a lot of coverage. So, here we go. Alright, so the color match is good. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't seem to have a whole lot of coverage. And you guys know how the Beauty Blender works. It actually shares things out even more. So I think, oh, do you guys see that? It's like really nice and radiant. Oh, and it's very evening, right? Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm, go figure. Alright, so uh, one, my brushes are dirty, but one of them is not quite so filthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this side with the Beauty Blender, and then I'm going to go in on that side with a brush. Alright guys, so here is my face, one side without the CC cream and the other side with the CC cream and the side that doesn't have it on, um, well, sorry, the side that does have it on looks a lot more even, it looks healthy and glowy and dewy, and I am incredibly surprised by this, not gonna lie. The only thing is like, there isn't a whole lot of coverage and honestly um like I said I wasn't expecting it to have a whole lot of coverage okay guys so I'm just gonna go in to the other side of my face with a brush that I tried to clean off a little bit with one of those chamois cloth type deals it got pretty clean um don't forget this side of my face is darker than this side so sometimes things don't match when they will match over here All right, so, so far what I'm seeing is um, I do prefer the side that is applied with the brush better. Um, there's definitely a little bit more coverage, even though I've used less on this side so far. Um, so, and it's a little bit less dewy over here. It's still dewy, but it's a little bit less dewy. So I think I'm just going to continue going over my entire face with the brush because I kind of like it better. Wow, okay. Y'all, <laughs> what is this life? Okay, um, wow, this is gorgeous. I don't even know how much it costs. I am so sorry, guys. I have no idea how much it costs because I really wasn't trying to, um, I really wasn't trying to do a video on it. Give me a second. I'm going to find out right now because this is gorgeous and I think you guys need to go and get it. $20, you get one fluid ounce on the Mary Kay website. I, I, like I said, I really wasn't planning on making this like a review review because I thought it was going to go pretty badly. Um, but as you can see, this is beautiful. So now I am going to try the, um, what's this called again? Haha, <laughs> translucent powder. $16. You get 
11 grams of product. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's try this. This is what the translucent powder looks like. It looks like a regular translucent powder, no big. Ugh, white. I hate my life. I do, because, wow, this is, wow, okay. I have to say, I'm surprised because you guys know I do not like white translucent powders because most of them are not darker skin friendly, but this one seems to be. I mean, it's not friendly to my eyebrows because my eyebrows are now turning, you know, ashy, but this is what we have. I mean, what the hell? This is kind of awesome. Wow, okay, Mary Kay. It's kind of late, it's 4 p.m., literally four o'clock on the dot. Um, but I might do a wear test because you guys know I don't go to bed early, so I might be able to get away with a wear test. So yeah, let's do a wear test. How about that? Yeah. All right. So this is what my face looks like. It is 4 p.m. on the dot. Um, it said there was eight hours of wear out of this, uh, CC cream. <laughs> eight hours of wear out of this CC cream. I am impressed. I am very impressed, which is why I am doing this wear test. I am incredibly impressed with these products right now, and I really wasn't expecting that. So, I am going to go out. I have places to go. I have places to go. My mom's party is tonight, so I still have to go get some stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go out, get some stuff, run around for a little bit, and then I will come back here later. Um, it's a geriatric party, so it ain't going to be too late. Um, come back here later, and we'll see how these products held up. Alright guys, I am back. It is now 12.47 a.m. I almost said p.m. like I'm losing my mind. Excuse me, um, my throat is a little bit dry. I think I'm coming down to something. But in any case, um, let's get on with this so that I can wrap up and go take a shower and go to sleep. So, I'm not going front. I'm a little bit shook right now because I was not expecting this at all like let me find out that Mary Kay is out here like making moves and whatnot all right so no shifting whatsoever it also didn't transfer I'm a little bit um like darkened around my mouth right here but that is really because I need to wax my mustache so that's what you're seeing um, I don't know if I look shiny on camera, I might because of my reflectors or whatever, but I'm actually not very shiny also, at all. Also, I took a picture outside with flash, which I will insert right here. There is absolutely no flashback from the translucent powder at all, and yo, I'm just, I am overall pretty surprised by this because, once again, I don't use Mary Kay because I didn't believe that the products would be good products. Um, this is not saying that I'm going to run out and buy Mary Kay now, because I'm not. I'm not. If my sister gives it to me again, or if someone gives me something else again, I'm, then I'll use it, but I'm not going to run out and buy it. But I am really very impressed, because I really, truly was not expecting this match on this was absolutely perfect. It did lean maybe slightly neutral, just slightly, not too bad, um, but it was it was slightly neutral, but after I put it on, after I put everything on, it just, it actually became one with my skin. It was like, it kind of, um, warmed up to my skin a little bit. Uh, and it also made my skin look very even and very healthy. So I would definitely wear this again. Like I said, I'm definitely going to wear it again because it just looks nice. Um, what else? It is very, very lightweight. Um, you absolutely positively cannot feel it on your skin at like, all yo what's up it hasn't faded at all like not even just like a little bit right here and right here in my u-zone 
Um, but yeah, the coverage is not going to be full coverage for sure. That is not going to happen. Don't try to make it happen because it's just not. Um, but you can get light to light medium coverage from it. If that is what you're looking for, if that's what your preference, then it's really good. And I can't believe I'm sitting here recommending a Mary Kay product. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, wow. Wow. Huh. I think pigs are outside flying. I think they are. I think help has frozen over. And we're in the middle of the apocalypse. I do. Because I'm sitting here recommending a Mary Kay product to you guys. And I just... Mm, mm -mm. Alright guys. <laughs> this was pretty interesting for me. This was very interesting. Eye-opening and, and quite surprising. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not sleeping on Mary Kay products anymore. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go take a shower, wash my face, and take my butt to bed because I am tired. But, as usual, it's been real, it's been fun, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!